Hello guys, welcome back. I was recently working with Tomcat um, and trying to rewrite URLs for a simple problem that I had and uh, I found it pretty hard so I thought I'll make a video explaining how to easily do it. Um, what I've got here is um, this is the documentation for Tomcat 9. I'm using Tomcat 8 for this demo. This will also work on Tomcat 9. If you want to learn more about Tomcat rewrites or what a rewrite is, uh, please uh, follow the documentation here. It's pretty good. It, it explains uh, in detail how you can do it. And this talks about using rewrite valve. Now, I was able to get it to work and I was looking for something very simple. So I haven't, I'm not going to use rewrite valve for this one. I found this one from tucky.org and it's called URL write filter and it is very easy to set up, install and set up. Their documentation is alright, like it's not the greatest but uh, it does the job. They have uh, links to your support like Stack Overflow, FAQ, search and whatnot so you can find some information there. Get, getting the jar file however, get the jar file from Maven Central uh, by searching for it and I got version 3 point something which is alright uh, and, it, and it works so the current version is 4.0.3 uh, there is a publication that I came across that spoke about why the Maven Central is down uh, but anyway you don't have to go there I'll upload a, I'll put a link to this to the repo that I'm gonna upload this um, sample code to and you can get the jar file from there but if you can find the version 4 uh, by all means use that and this is a very simple demo so whatever you see here will also work in version 4. Now um, so let's say you get the jar file or you have to put it in webinflib in the root uh, war file and uh, just create a web XML with this sample filter I've gone ahead and put a few more directives we'll have a look at mine in a moment and then you just create a rewrite XML and you start writing your rules. If you already got some rules from um, let's say Apache, you can reuse them by adding them to .ht access. We'll, we'll talk about the about reusing the Apache rewrite rules in a moment when I go through the web XML on, on the on my computer here. Alright, so I'm in Tomcat 8 directory. Let's have a look at what I've got. Uh, it's a standard installation. I haven't modified anything so if I go to web apps, um, I've created a wolf. Uh, well, uh, I've created like a context path uh, for the for the application to use, and I have this root folder. Um, let's see what's in root. I've deleted the default Tomcat app that comes just to keep this clean. Uh, but the, if yours has uh, something, leave it on. What I mean by that is if I have Tomcat running. And if I go to the root, you'll get a 404. But ideally, if you do it on a new installation, you get another application which shows like the little pretty Tomcat uh, logo and then explains what you can do and whatnot. You can go, it gives you a certain links to go to the like the manager app, restart your apps, upload a new war file and whatnot. So here's what I've got in the root folder. I've created a folder called webinf and another folder called lib. In lib, I've copied this jar file. I've created a web XML in my web INF, and then I've created this uh, URL rewrite XML. Uh, the web XML has a little more content apart from this boilerplate stuff here, um, and then URL, uh, URL rewrite rule.xml has all the rules. So let me just uh, start. So bin. I'll shut down first and start Tomcat startup there we go Tomcat started if I try this it's not gonna work so I've got an app so if I also do a find uh, web apps mo it now you can see that there is two index HTML pages okay, I can get rid of that Okay, so I've got two index HTML pages. One is in MoIT and the other is in MoIT Services Web Design Index. So basically, that's the full path 
of one index file and that's the full path of one index file. Now what I've done is uh, I've mapped this to uh, a path called app. So if I type in slash app, it gives me this is the index page. That's the more IT index page. But if I type in, so I'm going to get rid of everything. And let's say I type in just web slash web, right? Nothing but web. And it redirects me to this web design page, right? Um, this is very basic, just a <laughs> heading tag, nothing else apart from the background. So let's see how this is happening. So I'll first show you. So let's go back to this thing here. I've got the one in here, basically. You've seen the jar file. It's in root webinf lib URL rewrite. Now, if you want to redirect for a specific app, you can put you can take it away from root and put it in uh, the folder for your application, right? So you can have a if I want to put it in more IT, I'll put it in more IT web dash inf, and the rest of the path it stays the same. But I I put it in root so it applies to all all the apps that I've got. So there's two choices. You can either put it in the app that you want, or you can put it in root and the rewrite applies across uh, the Tomcat instance. That's the file and that's the permissions, that's the size, basically. So that we've checked off number one, we put it in the, in the place where we wanted. And the next thing is the web XML. I'll show you the web XML. Right, so I'm going to vim uh, web apps root webinf web XML. Right? Okay, so this is what web XML looks like. So all of this is just a comment at the top. Uh, you can skip through this stuff here. That's just a description and whatnot. So basically, this is all I've put in filter and filter mapping. Filter mapping has URL rewrite filter and it works for every pattern so you can filter you can filter out certain patterns you cannot rewrite certain patterns it's at the moment it's going to rewrite everything um, apart from that i've set up the log level uh, you need to have log4j um, binary in your class path i don't but if you have it for your application it'll also log um, the conf path is basically what file has the rules and um, this is the yeah root, root, uh, URL rewrite filter and that's the uh, class name of the of the filter right so I'm gonna exit that so that's just the bare minimum stuff there's a lot of other things that you can put in there uh, the manual So if you look at the manual, this is all the parameters and you can follow this one for doo -doo -doo. Okay, so mod rewrite conf and mod rewrite conf text you can use to uh, use the dot uh, hd access. So see it'll use dot hd access. You can have a instead of URL rewrite dot XML. You can have a dot HD access and just copy your mod rewrite rules uh, from Apache. So basically, mod rewrite is the module to rewrite in Apache. If you can have that style of configuration, put in here, and off you go. Basically, if you've got the rewrite rules in Apache format, that's how you can you can use it. I spoke about that, and that's why I brought that up now. So let's have a look at the rules. For the last bit is. Um, yeah, so the last bit here is to go through and uh, check the URL rewrite config. So I'm gonna do that URL rewrite conf. Okay, so I've only got three rules, right? It gets app slash anything and redirect redirects that to the application and adds to the end. So I'll show you how this will work in a moment. Uh, it also get the app, whatever you have slash app, gets put or redirected to to that part. That's what you saw. This I haven't demonstrated. I'll show you that in a moment. The last rule is basically slash web is linked to 
uh, you can notice there's no index.html here. So this one has index.html, but this directory has uh, index.html, so you don't actually need to put in index.html in the rewrite rules as it gets redirected that redirected to the directory the web server knows to render index.html basically so um, so let's try the last one the first rule here so what that's saying is if I've got um, so if I've got app it redirects me fine but if I've got app slash blah right there's no page, there's no folder called moit slash blah, that's why it's erroring out. So what's happening there is if we go back to the rule, it matches everything in the end. So dollar, demonstra dollar is the end of the string, basically. Um, also, you, you have to have like a carrot. So this will match anything with an app. So if, if you have a carrot, this is the correct rule. So it'll only match that pattern, but it will also match uh, the, the current rule I've got should actually match anything so if I've got hey slash app it should still match see that rule has taken effect like it's applied because there is no directory called hey this is failed so let's fix that so I'll add a carrot in the beginning and uh, carrot in the beginning here so carrot so stop uh, this won't take effect like I can do this again blah slash app and it'll still happen so I need to restart bin shut down bin startup so now it'll take effect so if I now use blah slash app See, it didn't, it didn't uh, apply the rule. App is still app because it didn't match. But if I type just app, it'll work, right? Up. So that's, an, in a nutshell, that's the rules I've got. I will commit this code uh, to a GitHub and put the link in description. But th that is a very basic demo of how you can easily set up and get going and start focusing on writing your rules uh, instead of mucking around with uh, the rewrite while for Tomcat. Uh, the documentation is very confusing. I did eventually get it working, but this this is like a fraction of time that it took me to get it up and running. So I hope this helps somebody. Um, and you know, like if you think this is going to help your friends, please like and share. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys.